think it was huge. Uh, what's it called? Uh, I don't think I realized, or any of us realized, the ball was at the 98 or the two. We all thought it was on the one, so everybody was just saying, you know, let's take a 99 then. And I mean, that's what we did, and the O lineman just executed it, and everybody executed. And it was just a huge drive, and once we put points on the board, you could just feel it rolling. And uh, we stepped on, I mean, we just stepped on it and kept it going. Front left, John. Josh, Coach talked about the discipline you guys played in the game where there were a lot of uh, enforcement like and uh, personal fouls. I'm pretty pleased that you got you were the guys that were way at the low end mm -hmm. of that. Um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased because, um, you know, I feel like we're way more classier than them. Um, you know, they try to take it to a level that wasn't playing football. And, you know, that we, we play football over here. I don't know what they do over there, but we play football in this show today. Standing left there. Just a few minutes ago, your coach was talking about yards after catch and receivers. How much of an emphasis has that been in practice? And why are you guys so, why are you guys so successful with that today? Um, it's, all, it's always been an emphasis. And uh, I like, I don't know, man. There's just something special about the vibe that we had today with the way Shea was throwing the ball in warm ups. And uh, I mean, guys just running hard. Everybody's playing so hard. And we just executed at a high level. And it showed. Angelique, front middle. To uh, Ronnie, we haven't seen you since the Penn State game. How do you balance the, the low from that game and then, and then the performance today? What's well, it's called the support that I got from my family, my friends, uh, this team. I mean, man, it was unreal and it's a blessing. And uh, they all they all picked me up. And uh, so, I mean, like I said earlier, I owe these seniors big time. And uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad I was able to go out there and do that. And, and Josh, you just mentioned they don't play football, I think is what you said. What, what was it like out there? What was How physical was it? It looked like there was a lot of extra. On our side, it was real physical. Um, I felt like this this defense, especially, you know, um, we made a statement today. Um, we were playing real physical, and they tried to, it was to the point where we were playing too physical, and they tried to, you know, do stuff after the play when we weren't looking and stuff like that. And, you know, it just showed today that, you know, we, we were the better prepared team, and we came out, and we wanted to execute more than they did. Middle left, Rainer. Bobby, was this offense uh, looking like the way that you guys envisioned it when you first started implementing it? Just the best representation of what the offense would look like? Uh, yeah, just the execution today all around and just with how hard everybody's playing, it was amazing. And uh, yeah, I, mean, I guess you could say that. Yeah, just the execution though, it was just there. It was all there today. Time for one or two more. Go to the middle, Andrew. Ronnie, your teammates have said you're you're a very good teammate, but I'm wondering if there's any any frustration, even kind of in fun, that you don't have a touchdown yet this season. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, um, I don't know if there hasn't been a time yet when I came back to the side. I mean, even him, just like 20 seconds ago, let me know like I still ain't got in there, and uh, <laughs> it hurts every time. But it's all right. I'm gonna get in there. Uh, stay in the middle, uh, Andrew. If you could pass it back to Teo, please. Thank you. Josh, it was like after the game, you guys exchanged a few words with the Michigan State players. What were you guys, what was the discussion there? I was telling them to go home. Um, <laughs> it's, it's time for them to leave. Um, they didn't deserve to be in our stadium. Um, I was just trying to wave them goodbye because some of them wanted to stay on the field, you know, and it was our time to shine. You know, we came out with a W, so we was just telling them to go home. Front row, all the way to the right, Steve. Josh, there was a moment after LaVert's interception where the crowd really got into it. There was chanting, and, and you guys were jumping up and down. Talk about if that was sort of the, the point in the game where it, there probably wasn't going to be any comeback. Describe your emotions and the emotions of your team on the sideline at that time. Oh, yeah, um, it was great because um, Ambry got the pick first. And then, you know, he's from Detroit. You know, the Michigan rivalry, you know, is really big to him. It's also big to Bert. And when Bert got his pick, you know, you could just feel, you could just feel the intensity. You could feel it through him. You know, the vibe that he had just went throughout the whole stadium. You know, from the field to the fans to the top row, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can just tell that this team, you know, knew what we did today. Middle row on the left, Brian. For either either of you guys, what has impressed you the most with how how the team has responded and and rallied since uh, the Penn State loss? Uh, I guess just uh, the execution, like I said, offensively, uh, and just the way everybody has just uh, kind of grown together and picked one another up and been with each other every step of the way, offense and defensively. I feel like it's that way. Couple more standing left, Wojo. Josh, with what this with what this rivalry has been like, and certainly has been emotional and back and forth, 
did you guys want to make the statement of winning by as much as you possibly could? Was that in your minds? Um, uh, I think, you know, just going through all, you know, how they played this season and how we've been playing these past couple of games, you know, we knew we could do it. You know, it doesn't have to be close. Um, it's football, and if you execute the right way, um, every play or majority of the plays, you know, you win by big margins like this. So, you know, we, we focused on executing these past two weeks and it showed today. Guys, last one. Uh, we'll go to the very back right. Zach, just give him a quick minute to get the mic. Josh, it looked like you gave the pregame speech right before kickoff. But I guess what did you say, and then what was the vibe like pregame? I was just um, telling everybody to play their heart out. Um, you know, it's a big game, and you know we needed everybody on the sideline. We need everybody on the field to play as hard as they could. And you know, I just try to make sure everybody was focused and willing to do whatever to win this game. Okay, thank you all for the time.